If you have any doubt that hitting a baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports, I'd like to direct your attention to Johan Duran. In the ninth inning of a game that was probably penciled in as a win as soon as he stepped on the mound. At the plate first was rookie utility player Blake Sable, who took a big cut at one of the most unhittable pitches ever thrown. That was a 100 mile per hour splitter with 28 inches of drop. Now, in terms of movement, this isn't anything too special. In fact, during that same game, Joe Ryan threw 37 splitters, averaging 37 and a half inches of drop. The difference is that Joe Ryan throws his splitter no more than 86 miles per hour, and that's because the pitch is what's known as an off-speed. From a batter's perspective, it's meant to look quite similar to a fastball, and when thrown correctly, dives down right before it crosses the plate. This causes hitters to swing over the pitch, especially after they've seen a fastball or two. So why did Duran throw this to start the at-bat? Well, most pitchers can't even throw their fastball 100 miles per hour, and nobody throws a splitter even remotely as fast as Johan Duran. In his career, he has thrown 246 splitters, averaging 97.2 miles per hour. The next fastest splitter from a pitcher who throws them frequently is Jarius Familia, who in 428 career splitters, averages 92.1, and has never thrown one faster than 96.3. Put simply, Johan Duran is the only person who throws a pitch like this, and Blake Sable had the unfortunate opportunity to figure that out. That said, the count was only at 0-1, and Sable had already seen Duran's deadliest weapon. Or so he thought. Yup, that was a 104 mile per hour four-seam dotted on the outside edge of the strike zone. In 2023, Duran's average fastball came in at 101.7, over a mile per hour faster than Jordan Hicks, who sits in second. He also throws it with a much lower than average amount of drop. So in other words, if they're swinging over the splitter, they're going to be swinging under the four seam. That is, if they swing at all. Sable, hey, timed him. That was a center cut four seam that Sable almost squared up, but was a bit late and swung under it. At this point, Blake Sable had not seen a single pitch under 100 miles per hour from Duran. Knowing that Sable's mind was thinking heat, Duran threw this pitch. That was nasty. Yeah. A 90 mile per hour curveball that missed the bat by around two feet because he was incredibly early and swung way over it. From the very beginning of this at bat, Sable did not stand a chance. But how about veteran infielder Wilmer Flores? 103 at the bottom of the zone is hittable, relatively speaking, but very unsurprisingly, Flores was late to this pitch, and was also late to the next pitch, clocking in at 104. Yet again, the hitter was on an 0-2 count, so Duran did what he does best. 0-2. Ooh, 105. Oh my gosh. Please. That right there was the fastest pitch thrown in the 2023 season. MLB players are trained to make you think that a ball at 104.8 miles per hour hit off the handle of the bat feels perfectly fine, but in reality, Wilmer Flores' hands were almost certainly in extreme pain. Nonetheless, the game must continue. And Wilmer did! It's a fair ball! <laughs> That's the greatest at bat of Wilmer Flores' career. It's a double. Okay, so that was a bit of a curveball in a literal and figurative sense. After being late to three fastballs, Duran threw a curveball, where Flores was early enough to pull it down the line. In all likelihood, he wanted this pitch to be way further down, but it just goes to show how a batter can punish a mistake from an otherwise unhittable pitcher. Casey Schmidt, in his 15th career game, was probably hoping that Flores would just strike out like a normal batter facing Johan Duran, but when he didn't, up to the plate, step the rookie. And that can't be a splitter at 101. That cannot be. That was indeed a splitter at 100.7 miles per hour, and it probably should have been a strike as well. But his next pitch was not only a strike, it was absolutely painted. The following one, not so much, but after Schmidt fouled off the 100.9 splitter, he knew exactly what was coming next. Schmidt had a good rip. He really did. When a ball is fouled straight back, it means that the hitter barely missed it. But when facing a guy like Duran, such opportunities are few and far between. Got it. 104. And that right there is the ball game. The reason that Duran only got two outs is because for whatever reason he didn't start the inning. But in those 13 pitches thrown, he showed why he may just be the most disgusting pitcher on the face of the earth. 